Okay, it looks like we have hit a point where the voltage in my back pressure capacitor is dropping. The supply voltage is 7.44, so we've hit a bit of an equilibrium where we are no longer gaining energy. So, we need to pulse it again. We need to momentarily pulse it, and that's what we'll do. Plug that back on. You can hear the frequency changes as the capacitor charges. And uh, 12.52 while under load. As soon as I disconnect that, it's disconnected. My capacitor is back up. My voltage is climbing again in my back pressure capacitor, as is the charge in my battery. So after a, a few momentary pulses, we will have enough back pressure built up in the capacitors to feed back into the battery and sustain at a nice working voltage. Now I can simply add a uh, assistance alternator, we could say, in with this system that runs on an auxiliary source just to keep the working range, say, if I wanted to take my working range of this capacitor beyond the value of that battery, I could use something like a Joule Thief off of the source battery to boost the voltage up a little bit higher. Say instead of 12 volts, say 15 volts. That way the back pressure in my capacitor would be much higher, feeding back into the source just from increasing the voltage a slight amount on the input. Again, here's my voltage dropping very slowly. And here's my battery recharging and my capacitor value getting higher and higher with each momentary pulse and drain cycle until it reaches where it has to be for the device to work with gain nice with lots of push and that is what is required and basically you only need to fill that large value capacitor the first time after that it uh, it's, it's got all that push behind it at that voltage, pushing back into source. Here we are at the lab. I've installed a DC milliamp meter. Now this is installed between my driving capacitor, which gets momentarily pulsed from this battery. This is all still configured closed loop operation where it's recharging that battery. Um, my back load, 1286. My battery voltage, 12.59. My supply voltage, 3.76 volts. My device, turned right down. My milliamp consumption, about 0.7 milliamps. And it is in fact operating. I can turn it off and on, and I will demonstrate that right now. And you can see my consumption is pretty much stopped. 3.74. There's no draw. I'll apply the magnet. 8.8 .8 milliamps and dropping. I'll take the magnet away. And I will apply the magnet again. And my Voltage is 3.73 volts. My recharge battery is 12.59 volts. My push behind it is 12.86. I did make a modification from the last video. It is I removed the 5K 1 watt, 5K 5 watt resistor and replaced it with a 33 ohm, I believe. The colors are, I'll have to double check it with the meter once I get one free red red black gold and milliamp consumption is holding at about 0.7 milliamps at 3.7 volts and slowly depleting now I had to interrupt it to add this milliamp meter because um, at the higher voltages it, it would pin this meter and twi twist it right off so 
because it would be drawing about uh, three times that amount at 12 volts according to the digital multimeters and this is an analog meter probably a true reading meter it's uh, fairly old so as you can see I'll demonstrate this one more time I will turn off the device by removing the magnet you can see the magnets in my hand the milliamp meter is down I will energize the device by placing the magnet we will demonstrate that one more time removing the magnet applying the magnet voltage of the device right now is at 3.65 volts the output is holding strong at 1285 in uh, 100,000 volt or 100,000 UF 50 volt DC capacitor. The energy from that capacitor is fed back into the source battery, which is momentarily pulsed to start the operation of this device. Which I am going to work away at removing the source battery and replacing it with a solar panel. Again, one more time with the magnet demonstration. Oh, I remove the magnet to turn off the device according to my milliamp consumption. As you can see, zero milliamps. The magnet is in my hand. I'm going to set it back down. Milliamp consumption. The device starts to operate. I as well, I can turn it off here. This is a manual off and on switch. You can turn it on and it starts automatically. Demonstrate that again. Turn it off. Turn the device back on. And if it does not start, which it didn't, you can do it again. Did not start. Voltage 3.61 volts. We will elevate the magnet and set it back down. And away it goes. Drawing 0.61 milliamps Point 0.6 milliamps it will drop the consumption will drop it appears to fluctuate a little bit for whatever reason um, it could be me interfering with it just uh, the energy from my body being around the circuit I don't know voltage 1285 1284 fluctuating. I can take my capacitor off of there and put that on my oscilloscope to get a true voltage reading. I can add more diodes and bridge rectifiers and pull from about uh, six more sources from my circuit there just in different configurations. Group them all together as one to increase my output. Again the alley coil. It's a marvelous little toy. Thanks Here we for are watching. at the lab again. <clears throat> Recording voltages. Uh, my recharge battery is just about to go 12.60. Um, it's been hooked up to this capacitor. My device just quit. It's running at 3.17 volts and for some unknown reason likes to quit. So I have to wiggle the magnet get it started. I may have to draw, turn up the milliamp consumption as my voltage gets lower to sustain it running because it does not want to start again. It just, there, oh, 